This is the history of protest songs in the United States. Part 15. The 21st Century. Black Lives Matter and Police Brutality. After the death of Michael Brown, Black Lives Matter has become a widely known social movement. Artists have begun creating songs in support of Black Lives Matter and anti-police brutality. A primary protest slogan of Black Lives Matter is, I can't breathe, following the death of Eric Garner. These were Garner's last words before he died. Garner's siblings, Elisha and Stephen, took his last words and made the song, I can't breathe. Garner's family told Billboard the song is dedicated to the struggle everyone is going through. During the song, Stephen raps, A system that took my brother from me. No matter how much money I receive, I can hear my brother crying I can't breathe. Beyonce has become a face of Black Lives Matter with her song, Formation. In the music video for Formation, there are images of Beyonce laying on top of a sinking New Orleans police car and walls with Stop Killing Us painted on it. While she received criticism for her appropriation of Hurricane Katrina, her song still was representative of the movement. A leader of Black Lives Matter, Alicia Garza, welcomed Beyonce to the movement when the song was released. In an article Garza wrote for Rolling Stone, she applauds Beyonce and says she joins only a handful of celebrities courageous enough not just to reference a growing movement happening around her, but to proudly place herself within it. Garza sees the song as support of the movement, as she states, They told us who her people are, how that makes her who she is, and that the Best revenge is being successful, that she likes her men black, with the nostrils to match. Beyonce continued her support when she performed the song at Super Bowl 50's halftime show which peaked at 115.5 million viewers during halftime. When asked about critiques saying the song is anti-police, Beyonce says, Let's be clear. I am against police brutality and injustice. Those are two separate things. If celebrating my roots and culture during Black History Month made anyone uncomfortable, those feelings were there long before a video and long before me. Beyonce continued her support of Black Lives Matter with her song Freedom. The music video contains the mothers of notable African-American police victims, Eric Garner, Michael Brown, and Trayvon Martin. In the video, the mothers are holding the pictures of their children. Beyonce also had the mothers accompany her to the Video Music Awards in 2016. After the death of Michael Brown, J. Cole went to Ferguson, Missouri to speak with the protesters who were outraged by his death. In response to the shooting, Cole released. Be free. Cole wrote that. We become distracted. We become numb. I became numb. But not anymore. That could have been me, easily. It could have been my best friend. I made a song. This is how we feel. The lyrics of the song include. I'm letting you know. That there ain't no gun they make that can kill my soul. Oh no. Cole performed. Be free. On the David Letterman's Late Show in 2014. On November 28, 2014. Richard Rossi was in the news regarding the controversy over the shooting of Michael Brown. Rossi wrote and recorded a protest song expressing his feelings about a grand jury's decision not to charge a white police officer in the death of the unarmed black teen in Ferguson, Missouri. I wrote the song in five minutes as a way to express my emotions about the danger of trigger-happy police, Rossi said. I filmed it on my laptop at my kitchen table and uploaded it to YouTube. 
Rossi uploaded the video on November 26 and provided the song's lyrics in the video description. Here is a sample from the song's beginning, printed in the Los Angeles Daily News. Down at the courthouse on a Monday afternoon, justice was thrown right out the window when a young white cop entered the room. Kendrick Lamar's song, All Right, has also become an anthem for Black Lives Matter. The lyrics include, Wanna kill us dead in the street F.O. show, and my knee's getting weak and my gun might blow. But we gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. Has become a protest chant during the movements of Black Lives Matter. Lamar discusses his song's relation with the movement during a New York Times interview in 2015. When asked if he knew it was becoming an anthem for Black Lives Matter, he says, When I'd go in certain parts of the world, and they were singing it in the streets. When it's outside of the concerts, then you know it's a little bit more deep-rooted than just a song. It's more than just a piece of a record. It's something that people live by, your words. He also says that it is a chant of hope and feeling. At a rally in Ohio, all right, became an anthem for the protesters. A 14-year-old boy got in a confrontation with police over an open alcohol container. Protesters noticed the altercation and surrounded the police and boy. Once the boy was released into his mother's custody, the crowd began chanting the refrain, We gone be alright. Janelle Monet and Wonderland Records also recorded their own song in protest of the extrajudicial killings of African-American men and women titled Hell You Tombout. In 2015, during demonstrations at Harvard University in support of Black Lives Matter, Joshua Campbell wrote and performed Sing Out March On, which he was invited to perform again during Harvard's 2018 commencement ceremony in honor of commencement speaker John Lewis. In 2018, Childish Gambino released This is America, along with an accompanying video that served as a commentary on the black experience and police brutality in the United States. In 2019, Raphael Sadiq released his album Jimmy Lee, an examination of traumas in the African-American community featuring the protest song, Rikers Island. In June 2020, Rafa Pabon released the protest song and music video, Sin Air Without Air, in response to the murder of George Floyd and the killing of Eric Garner, police brutality and racial inequality in the United States. On June 4th, Los Angeles rapper YG released a single titled, FTP, a nod to the NWAS song, F the Police. On June 12th, 2020, Lil Baby released, The Bigger Picture, following George Floyd's murder. The song peaked at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100 and was the highest charting song of his career, at the time. Despite its apolitical nature, Dior, by Pop Smoke became an unlikely protest anthem during the George Floyd protests as a rallying cry of defiance against police brutality. In 2021, Rolling Stone called the song the unofficial anthem of uprisings across the country. Protest songs continue to be written and produced in response to various current events issues surrounding police brutality and Black Lives Matter.